My name is Peter Vulo, and welcome to Thursday Night Terrors. <laughs> 1988. The crime rate in the United States rises 400%. 1991. The United States police force is formed. 1997. New York City is a walled maximum security prison. John Carpenter's Escape from New York. John Carpenter's Escape from New York. Did you ever wonder what it would be like to be one of the last people on Earth? Who would you see? There's nobody. I mean, there's nobody. Ah! What would you do? Hey, I'm sorry if the end of the world makes me a little nervous. Where would you go? The stars are up in! <laughs> well, get ready to find out, because the comet is coming into your orbit. It's the night of the comet. Night of the Comet. The night the teenagers ruled the world. Night of the Comet. First, he created the most frightening film ever made. Then, he took his unique vision of terror one step further. Now, George A. Romero takes us out of the night, beyond the dawn, and into the darkest day of horror the world has ever known. Day of the Dead. George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. Top of the news this evening is speculation concerning the real facts behind the Department of Health announcement about a radioactive spill supposed to have occurred yesterday at the state nuclear plant, which reached our newsroom this afternoon. This is the series. and others like him, have been subjected to strong doses of atomic radiation, which increased their physical capacities beyond the norm. God help us all. It's the night of the senior prom. The Bates High School gym is alive with excitement. Everybody is there even Carrie White. But tonight, no one will laugh at Carrie. For Carrie, it will be a dream come true. For everyone else, it will be a nightmare. <coughs> Carrie, if you have a taste for terror, you have a date with Carrie.